हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिकल डिजाइन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑफ केबल साइजिंग यूजिंग मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन एक्सेल शीट एंड लेटेस्ट सॉफ्टवेयर इट एप इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड थ्री टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट केबल कंस्ट्रक्शन सेकेंड वाई केबल साइजिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट एंड थर्ड what is the proper cable size today we will learn calculation of cable size using manual method before moving further in today's lecture we will like to introduce course titled design course on transmission and distribution lines in this course we will cover design aspects of the transmission and distribution lines from lt liners to 800 kv transmission line this course is free you have to pay nothing for that course you have only to subscribe my channel like and share my videos on your social profiles in this course the various topics which we cover are first loi letter of intent second BOQ bill of quantity and estimation difference between BOQ and estimation and third survey what are the important points to be kept in mind during survey fourth permission needed for transmission and distribution line constructions and fifth what is the load connected load maximum demand demand factor diversity factor and sixth clearance of transmission and distribution lines what is ground clearance of different transmission lines phase to phase clearance of different transmission lines etc and seventh calculating the number of disc insulators needed for different transmission lines and eighth sag calculation of transmission lines in the previous lecture we have seen the proper cable sizing means that cable should satisfy three conditions first cable should able to carry full load current second able to withstand short circuit current and third should have minimum voltage drop to learn the cable size calculation we will to learn the cable size calculation we have taken an example where we have to calculate the cable size for a load the example is let we have to select the size of xlp cable for three phase 415 volt 100 kilowatt load the load is supplied from distribution transformer 11 by 0.433 kilovolt 250 kva the power factor of the load is 0.8 8 first of all we will calculate the load current the formula for calculating the load current is il is equal to kilowatt rating of load divided by root 3 into voltage in kilovolt and into power factor putting these values in the equation the equation becomes il il is equal to 100 that is the kilowatt rating of the load divided by root 3 into 0.415 that is the voltage rating of the load into 0.8 that is the power factor of the load on solving this equation the il equals 173.9 amperes now we will calculate the short circuit current rating of the transformer of 250 kva the formula for short circuit current rating is isc is equal to it that is the transformer current into 100 divided by z percent that is the percentage impedance of the transformer is equal to it into 100 divided by 4.5 here we have taken the percentage impedance of transformer 4.5 the percentage impedance of a transformer generally varies from 4% you can get these values from your manufacturer or you can 
also get these values from ETAB library where the typical values are taken but we have here taken 4.5 now to calculate the short circuit current rating current of the transformer we have to find first of all the current rating of the transformer the formula for calculating the current rating of a transformer is it that is a current of a transformer is equal to kva rating divided by root 3 into voltage in kilovolt the kva rating of a transformer is 250 kva divided by root 3 into 0.433 that is the voltage of the transformer on solving this equation it becomes 333.34 amperes now putting the value of it in the above equation that is in the short circuit current equation it becomes 333.34 into 100 divided by 4.5 on solving this it becomes 7407.56 that is 7.407 kilo amperes now the short circuit current rating of the transformer is 7.407 kilo amperes now we will calculate the area cross section of the cable using the short circuit current the formula for that is a that is the area cross section area in square mm is equal to isc that is the short circuit current rating of a transformer into root t t is the time of short circuit current it is generally between 0 0.14 seconds to 0 0.2 seconds and k the value of k depends on the insulation of the conductor uh, cable and type of the conductor used in the cable you can get this value from this chart now putting the value of isc and t and k in the equation it becomes 7407.56 into root the value of t here we have taken is 0 0.2 into root 2 divided by 94.48 this is the value of k taken here from because our cable is of xlp insulation and aluminium conductor on solving this the value is 35 square mm so we can say that cable size is 35 square mm now we will see whether this cable size satisfies our short circuit current criteria or not this can be checked from the catalog of the cable we have taken here the catalog of ki industries 35 square mm of cable has short circuit current rating of 3.30 kilo amperes but our short circuit current is 7.407 kilo amperes so our short circuit current criteria is not satisfied so we can consider the higher size of the cable suppose we will take 95 square mm of the cable whose short circuit current rating is 9 kilo amperes this satisfies our short circuit criteria short circuit criteria now we will note also the current rating of the cable of 95 square mm here we have taken the 95 square mm of the cable now now we will uh, also note down it is current rating of the uh, cable from the catalog of the cable this is the 95 square mm of cable its current rating is 434 kilo amperes in air at 35 degree celsius current carrying capacity of 95 square mm single core cable is 434 uh, amperes as per the catalog now taking into consideration the derating factor the derating factor lies between generally 0.6 to 0.8 the current rating of the cable is i is equal to 0.6 that is the derating factor into 434 that is the current rating of a cable from catalog it becomes 260.4 amperes and our load current is il is 173.9 amperes so our load current is less than the current carrying capacity of cable so criteria is satisfied now two criteria are satisfied first is able to carry the full load current the cable is able to carry the full load current because the cable has the current rating of 260.4 260 amperes 
our load current is 173.9 so you can carry it easily and the second criteria that is short circuit current criteria that cable should be able to withstand the short circuit current criteria is also satisfied now we have to see the whether our voltage drop analysis voltage drop criteria is satisfied or not to calculate the voltage drop of a cable vd is equal to 1 by 2 into root 3 il il is the load current of our load current and its value is 173.9 amperes into r r is the resistance of the cable in ohm per kilometer and cos phi cos phi is the power factor of the cable and it is 0 0.8 plus x x is the reactance of the cable sine phi into a length in meters that is the length of the cable divided by thousand into number of runs putting the values of il r and x in the equation it becomes vd is equal to 1.2 into root 3 il that is the load current the load our load current is 173.9 amperes into r the resistance of the cable is taken from the catalog it is 0 0.410 into cos phi cos phi is the power factor that is 0 0.8 plus x the value of x is taken from this chart we have we have selected the 95 square mm of cable the reactance value is 0 0.090 into sine phi is equal to 0 0.6 this can be obtained from the equation cos square phi plus sin square phi is equal to 1. From that equation, you will find that sin square phi is equal to 0 0.6 into length of length of cable is here taken and 100 meters divided by 1000 into 1. That is number of runs. Number of runs here taken 1. That is number of circuits here taken is 1. On calculating that, it becomes 13.80 volt. So, the voltage drop of our cable is 13.80. Now we will calculate the percentage voltage drop. The percentage voltage drop of the cable is VD percent is equal to 13.80 that is the voltage drop into 100 divided by 415 that is the sending and voltage 415 is the sending and voltage voltage at the sending end of the cable is equal to 3.325 percent almost 3 percent of voltage drop is obtained if your load works properly on this voltage drop or if your client accepts this voltage drop then your cable size is okay but if your load or your client does not accept this voltage drop you want to decrease your voltage drop then your cable size will get this increased this can be seen in the next lecture when we use excel sheet or a tab where we decrease the cable uh, voltage drop percentage voltage drop our cable size gets increased when we increase the percentage voltage drop our cable size gets decreased thank you